Hello guys, this is Paul Oscar from Laravel Daily Team and today I want to present you our new demo project with some kind of live coding or basically more viewing the existing code. So we have our new expense manager which works like this. You register and you can manage your expenses and income online. So for example, I will register here. Uh, password and that is the important drop down you can choose currency so I will show you two things in this video how to choose currency uh, including the formatting of the currency because basically it's different for USD and Euro and, uh, and British Pound but for now I will choose USD and then I will show you the things called scopes um, and uh, filtering entries by users for multi-tenancy so for example I'm registering to uh, manage my own expenses and someone else was, will register with their expenses so let's see how it works I register and I see the dashboard that's a typical admin LTE uh, theme uh, that is generated partly by our quick admin panel uh, and then we have these things which are main main things so expense categories so for example I want to manage food expenses travel expenses for example or something like that travel expenses and then I enter expense records so for example my expense for food was today's day for example ten dollars so that's the second thing related to currency I will show you what plugin or jQuery library we're using to mask it like this so ten dollars uh, then for example travel uh, 4567 something and then we have reports so basic reports like this you click mon monthly report and you get just by category and by month income expenses in this case it's really simple uh, and basically that's it the whole project but what happens if I register as another user so I log out and I register as those two, for example, and I choose another currency, and I register. And if you look here, expense categories, I don't see the categories by another user. So how it looks in the database? Here's our database, and we have expense categories database table with name of the category and created by ID. So this is the most important thing. Uh, and field so if we add as a second user we add the same food category it will be saved with created by ID user ID 6 which is different which is the new user uh, and the same with expenses uh, created by ID those entries uh, and expense category ID so created by ID is the field that means which uh, which user does the record belongs to and how does it work in the code so since it's generated in our quick admin panel I will show you our approach but it's not the, the only uh, correct one uh, we have a trade so if we go to expense uh, expense model or expense cat category actually expense category this it has this thing use filter by user which is a trait and that trait uh, has two things uh, on that model on creating uh, things so at, at the time of uh, creating of the record it adds created by ID field as a default as currently logged in user and then there are a few checks and this this is what filters the records automatically so if you go to expense category controller uh, there's no filter here it's all it says expense category all uh, so this is where filter actually uh, happens. It has global scope. Uh, this is a separate case for table users, but this is what filters every other table. So global scope for created by ID, and it adds current user, which is taken here. So current user uh, is taken. Then if it's if it doesn't exist, then it returns the scope, uh, and this is how it works. And the final thing I want to show you is those currencies, how to filter them uh, like this. So if you add expense, record, uh, how does it work with those numbers and how, do you, how is it different for euros 
um, dollars. So in the database table we have currencies and we have this structure, so symbol of the currency and then some separators, so separators of thousands and decimal separated. Again created by one. Uh, then uh, created by one actually means uh, admin, administrator. And then in the front end uh, we have masking uh, masking plugin plugin here so ID money format is then captured by this file which is for all JavaScripts so this library jQuery mask money and then this is the the text basically the, the, the part the code that is covering the the money format so that's mask money and those parameters come directly from user model from currency relationship actually user HP and then there's currency belongs to um, yeah so basically that's it uh, two things I want to show you separately so scopes and uh, handling the currency you can check out the whole project uh, on our github the link will be below and if you have any questions or or comments use YouTube comments and let's get in touch and final thing if you want to generate project like that or similar, you can use our admin panel generator for Laravel, which is at quickadminpanel.com. And see you in the next videos of Laravel Daily Video Channel.